Hello, welcome back to Founding Core Plays Factorio C Block. In the last episode, we were running Saline Watertown here so we can make Ferret Chloride Solution. So we're going to continue on where we left off. Now, I already have the electrolyzer set up. Not set up, but built in my inventory. So we'll be able to get this process going fairly quickly. All right, there's the electrolyzer. Got to move it over a little bit. Then the saline water is going to come in here, make the chlorine gas, hydrogen gas, and sodium hydroxide. come down here because there because the resin's going to run down here and that's going to go right there and then I didn't mean to do that We'll have more if we need to add more. There we go. Then we'll have the saline water come in through right here. How close am I from the yep. outlet? Okay, they can't hit me right here can if I'm right there. Little bastards. I know it's probably kind of hard for y'all to see what I'm doing because I haven't zoomed out so far. And that's not right at all. needs to come in from Okay, there's that. Now the hydrogen will go back into the system. Maybe it would be better if I run it down right here. And then I have this come right here and then we'll pipe it down.
All right, we gotta find the hydrogen. We'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, so let's say we're already making chlorine gas, which we are. Then we need to turn it into hydrogen chloride gas, which takes a chemical plant, which we already have. Now here comes the issue. Uh, well, it's not really an issue per se. Just kind of have to treat it like other stuff. So that's how that's going to be. And then we need this to come out right here. Actually, it'd be better to just do it like this. Okay, so now we have our hydrogen chloride. Now comes the ferric chloride solution, which now we just take the iron ore and the hydrogen chloride gas that we just made and combine it. that to go there. This is going to be that. Have an inserter there. There's that. And then... have this come out right there once I move my body out of the way. Alright. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't. So now we just need iron ore to come in here. We will also add this onto the bus. So we're good on all that. So we need hydrogen added to the bus and iron ore added over here. But we got worms to deal with. Regarding all that. So I need to get a lot of underground belts because that's going to be a thing. It's going to be an issue. What is this? Methanol and... Wait, I'm confused. So 
this is taking carbon dioxide to make methanol. This is taking methanol to make formaldehyde. That's what it is. Okay. Alright, so... It's taking methanol... Well, it's taking carbon dioxide to make methanol. And then methanol to formaldehyde. Uh, I just had it. Where, where did I go with it at? There it is. And then we'll put this in there. And we're good. Okay, so there's all that. So now I just still, I need to go get the iron and I need to get hydrogen added onto the bus. But I also need to get more pipes and I need to get more underground belts. How's the power looking? Eh, we're still not doing the greatest, but we're okay. I should get some more concrete too. How are we looking at all this, too? I need to get butane being used, too. What are these? Mark 3? Well, 2s and 3s. Just not processing many. Well, all of it. Not processing all of it. Kill them worms too. Uh, give me a bunch of this. And pipes. Pipes is the next thing. And then while I'm up here, let's see if we have hydrogen running down. We do. Okay, good. So, we'll follow this down. Do I have enough to make any ammo? Let's just make some ammo while we're walking. And I do have concrete. Not con concrete. I got clay bricks. Careful, the worms are right here. So. It can be a very dangerous game. Alright. So, we're good right there. For now. I need more landfill. A lot more landfill. Sorry if y'all can't see this that well. What I'm doing is basically adding landfill. So that I can connect into the hydrogen right here. And I'm out of landfill. So I'm going to go find my car, which should be fairly close by. Let's look at the map. Or at least I thought it was close by. Maybe it's still up top. Yep. 
Well, I'll make sure to bring my car down here. So, hope everyone's doing alright today. This episode is right after the previous one. Now, I added that landfill in somewhere. I don't remember where, but I was gonna... Oh yeah, here it is. It's not bad. And I definitely have to get that iron being used, like, ASAP. Because it'll just back up. And, yeah, I was about to just click on that and take all of it, but I'd rather not do that. Right there. These are all Mark 1s, and these are Chemical Plant Mark 1s. I don't think I can make Chemical Plant Mark 2s yet. Yeah, yeah, I can't make them yet. And the reason is, is because I don't have electronic circuit boards yet. Which is what we're working on right now. Ugh. But once we get there, we can make Electrolyzer Mark 3s. <laughs> ah, shit. I mean, that'd be nice to make Mark 3s. Look at this. This is so freaking backed up. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I can bump all these up, make this process faster. How are we looking on this? Ah, uh, it's already back. Oh, this is. This is that. Ooh. Ooh. Baby. How much steel do I have? It doesn't matter. Let's just get a crap ton. That's pretty nice. Okay, so there's that. What about the iron? Okay, this iron's not even... That's good. I was afraid of this backing up, too. Which, we're good. We're not even nowhere near backed up on that. I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of iron... I'll grab some Invar too. That'd be nice to have some Invar. Alright, there's that. Copper, we're okay on. Nice, okay. So, let's keep on trucking. I made some ammo. Uh, I really want to get that stuff being made, but I may, I may want to go ahead and get, like, power lines being made.
I think that'll be a, something we'll do. We'll, we'll pause the whole making the other stuff. And we'll focus on making, like, power lines. Which we have plenty of room right here. Do we have tin copper cables? Yeah, we do. So, we can add it in right over here. I don't see why not. Let's take a look at it. We got steel and we have copper plate. Alright, we need iron rods. Because I'm just going to add all these right here. Because they all need the same same materials. So, iron rods. Where are iron rods? I should have already made these a long time ago, but... It is what it is. Iron rods. Where would they be at? Okay, they're underneath this. So one iron plate, if the crafting speed is one, it makes two every half second. But we don't have anything that does a half second. So I can make it easier in using the Summer Machine Mark 1s, which then we make two every second. Now I could go to a Mark II, but it's not going to be much faster. I mean, let's look. Let's do the math here. So, it'd be like 0.66 seconds. 66 repeat. So, Let's look at power lines. Now, same thing. It's going to need four every point six six if I make a mark two. That makes two every 0.66, so that means I would need two of them just to supply one of those, which means it'll make four every 0.66. So that means I would need four just to support these, to support this at max. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I have four of those. Let's just roll with it right now. Oh, crap. Let me look at all the ingredients I need. One, two, three. Four, five. So, five... One, two, three, four, five. Now, let me, let me try doing this a different way. Copper and steel can be on... Ah, uh, but that needs... This one needs a lot of copper and steel, too. So, let's say copper... Copper, steel... Then it's gonna need. Uh, let's see, what else is iron rods used for? Let me see if that's something I need to add to the bus. Um, in here, usage. Oh, it's used for a lot of stuff. Algae farms, electrolyzers. Damn.
So yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to add down here. That's disheartening. Well, we might as well then stick to what our initial plan was, which was making, uh, where's that? Ferric chloride solution. So we might as well just focus on that. Uh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can make it up there, but doing so... I'm just gonna have to add the stuff in later. So right now we're gonna deal with taking out these worms. Shouldn't take too much time, but we're gonna... Look at that hot trash. Jeez. Them little... Fuck. It's hard to even tell what's going on. Like, there's so much of that gas. Okay, so now it can't reach it there. Almost gotten them. Okay. So, gonna have to come down a little bit further. Let's just go ahead and put all the ammo in there. Basically just shooting these worms. Oh, he's got support coming from the south. So what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so those worms are cleared down here, so I don't have to worry about getting pelted by anything. Alright, so now let's go ahead and tie in the hydrogen. So that'll be taken care of. And then we will have the other worms to tend to over here on the other side, right over here on the east. Nope, I didn't 
when you do that. There we go. Then this one can come down a little further south. And there we go. So we got the hydrogen added on to the bus that we are producing right here. Which is fine because everything else can be absorbing it up there too. Along with this. So we got that. The next thing was adding in the iron. So now we need to run our landfill all the way across to where the iron is. Which is quite a ways over. we go. So now we need to take care of the worms on the east and southeast. Okay, so we gotta look at the best approach to killing these worms. Now we can come up here further north, knock out these worms, work our way down, and then knock out the worms in the south. So for those who are just listening, not really watching, there's worms that are right here to our east, but a little north. Fuck you, you stupid worm. So what happened was I just moved a little bit and the worms hit my freaking underground belt. Ugh. Alright, so we're going to have to come up from the north up here. And work our way south. And then west. What am I lacking? Iron? No, I have iron. I have tons of steel. It's gotta be copper. Copper is what I'm lacking. Well, this is what I'll do. I have it right here. And I'll just run some... Run a belt down right here. That'll help get some of the iron gone. All right, here we go. All right, we're making pretty good progress. Just gotta take some of these other worms out and we're golden. It looks like there's two worms left in this one island. There. Alright. So... We took out the worms that are a little bit north of this other island of worms. Which we're going to use the island that we just conquered of worms. So we can save on landfill.
Oh, out of ammo. For them to autofill. We're still doing all right. Our turrets are taking a few hits every, every so often. All right, let's come back up here and let's fix them. All right, doing good everybody. We're almost, almost there. further down now. There we go. Oh, I forgot them other ones will be able to hit it. There we go. Now all we have are these southern worms right here. We take them out. We're in the clear for a little bit. Still doing pretty good. We're hanging in there. Oh, out of ammo again. I may have to add a little bit of landfill. Yeah. Which is okay. I mean, we saved a lot of landfill. Good, no more fire. There we go. All right, all the worms have been eviscerated. Gonna repair our turrets and then we're gonna continue on. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess we ran out of it. What is this? Um, here, we'll stick it in there for right now. I need another repair kit. Yes and please. Alright, let's run this iron down some more. Doing good, everybody. Doing good. We're almost getting our ferric chloride solution done. I'm about to run the iron over. Alright, here we go. Now we're running the iron over. Uh, 
do I need iron ore for anything else? Like, is this all I'm really needing it for? Because if it is, then I'll just let it all be used up for this. Uh, alright, ferret core solution. <sighs> I can always take it and make concrete, but I've got other ways of making concrete. Taking alumina? I don't know if that's the best. Because silicon and lime is easy to make. But to take four items, silicon, lime, iron, and al alumina, to make two cement? I don't know about that. I really don't know. I think it'd be better just silicon and lime. I mean, don't get me wrong. Silicon and... Um, I can't even think of what it's called right now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that ferric chloride solution. Do I need a lot of it? Two iron ore every two seconds. Yeah, I'm going to say I need a pretty good amount of it. Okay, so now we basically got ferric chloride solution being made. We're just waiting for the iron to get over here, but once it's over here, we have it made. Like, we're having it made. Uh, Alright, so I might as well just add landfill, because that's what I'm going to need to do anyway. I don't get bombarded while I'm right here. Let's come clean up all this stuff. Get all the giblets. Okay. We're good on that. Alright, so we're making the ferric chloride solution now. Now all we need to do is take the phenolic board, copper plate, tin plate, and ferric chloride solution, and we can make circuit boards. Woot woot. Then after that, all we need is transistors and basic electronic components. Now these circuit boards, do I need them for anything else other than electronic circuit boards? Like are they used in any other recipe? Yes, they are. Awesome. So I will throw them on the bus. Alrighty. So. To make circuit boards, we need phenolic boards, copper plate, tin plate. Copper plate and tin, I like for them to have their own... Basically, what I'm trying to get at is I want to use it up. Like, I don't mind having two belts of that stuff. So what I'm saying is this, so iron or copper and tin can be on its own, own belt.
Yeah. This will be copper, this will be tin. Uh, Long-handed pickup. Right there. Right there. And that, that. Better yet, let me fix this. Long hand pickup. So we'll have copper right here and tin right here. There we go. Alright, there's that, and then that'll be where this goes at, awesome sauce, so copper and tin, copper and tin, copper and tin, just gotta keep telling myself, copper and tin, <coughs> excuse me for coughing. Copper plate, tin plate. You shouldn't be pelted by anything right here. Shouldn't, keyword. Alright, there's copper plate. Now we need to find tin plate. So we'll start on with the copper because I have a crap ton of it. Alright, we should be caught almost back up. I need to get more belts. Which is not an issue. Alright. Should have been doing this from the get-go. Now, copper was going to be on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need more underground belts, and I need belts. I need all the stuff. Shoot. Um, might as well run Fanola cords down. Manola cords, are those used for anything else? Yes. Okay, there's that. And I'll add, there we go. There's Fanola cords. Alright. Now I need underground belts, I need more of those, and I need regular belts. I need to place more lights down. I apologize for it being dark. Oh, got plenty of plastic. That's always good. Butane's getting really full. What is this needing? Not making enough charcoal. That's not good. Not making enough carbon dioxide. That's not good.
I'm gonna have to figure out why there's not enough of that stuff. That's fine. I need regular belts too. I need to see why there's not enough charcoal coming down. Piping. Mm. I'll grab some just to be safe. Charcoal. Well, that's because most of it's being prioritized right here. And it's not making enough because... We're not getting enough wood, not getting enough wood, because we're not getting enough of that. Wait, what? Uh, hmm. That's weird. I was... I could not understand why I was doing that. Okay, well this will fix whatever the issue is in that. Let me go dump the stuff off in the box real quick, too. Plus, I need to figure out where... I'll have to watch where Tim's at. And I might as well drive my car down there, too. So, make it faster. Alright, there's all that. There's that. All right, let's hop in the car and let's boogie down. Let's stay on the 10. We know where Copper's at. Alright, so we found... That is not what I meant. I meant to landfill. Alright, there we go. Ran all that all the way down. So that's really good. Now we just need to run the belt down. Let's go hop in the car. About ran out of uh, road.
Alright, there's that. So, tin was going to be right here on the top. And then copper was going to be on the bottom. Why? Simply for the fact that I want to use... Try to get copper being used up more. Alright, there's that. Ooh, that's not going to be good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. I know what I'll do. Nope, I know what I'll do. It's okay. Where's that finola cord? So, I'll just do this. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Not at all. Alright. Good enough, though. Alrighty. There we go. Now we just gotta wait until tin gets down here, copper gets that gets all the way down. All right, so now that gets us our circuit board. Now, we just need basic electronic components, solder, transistor. So transistors we don't have. We need to make silicon wafers. Are silicon wafers used for anything else? Because if they're a one and done, that's, that's fine. But if they're not, I'm going to have to add them on the bus. Here we go, silicon wafer. It's made from monosilicon. Okay, so let's say silicon wafers, silver wire, and plastic bars. Plastic bars I've already got, that's not an issue. Silver wire, how do I make silver wire? Silver wire, obviously silver ore, into silver ingots, 
which then turns into molten silver, molten silver into silver plate. Silver plate and copper cable make silver wire. Well, that'll be something else we're going to work on. Yeah, because we need... Yeah, that's really all we're lacking is transistors. So I need to work on silicon wafers and silver wire. There we go. Wait, wait a second. Did it say that it needs for silver wire? <laughs> It freaking needs copper cables. It does. Oh, shit. So I guess to make the silver wire, you know what? Let me see if there's a better process. Is there like a better process later on? Yes. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. I thought I had a setup for silicon. I swore I had a setup for silicon. There's silicon ore running down there. Here's silicon ore running down here. Here. That's the make glass mixture. I swore I thought I had a setup to make all this molten silicon. I swore I had a setup. Well, I guess I'm going to have to add it down the line. Damn. What was this? What's this for? There it is. I knew I had a setup somewhere. So right now, that's just this. Okay, so... I've got silicon ingots being made. Um, I need an induction furnace. How much is that going to make? 120? We'll just make a Mark 1. While we're waiting on that... I kind of like, like it better like, like that. Ugh. And these are Mark II's, ain't they? All of them? Yeah. That's okay. It's whatever. Oh, wait. One thing. Why do I... 
That'll be moved anyway. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Alright, there's silicon ore. I thought I had carbon in me. It doesn't matter. So this is going to be... Molten silicon. Didn't mean to do that. Brets were made. We'll just make two casting machines. Mark one. Or better yet. Fuck it. We'll make them into Mark twos. Why not? Come on, baby, come on. Oh, these are all Mark 1s. Okay, so let's see, how does this work? So, they both require molten silicon. Sketchy as all get out. Let me have one of these. I just need to see how this looks. That's fine like that. That'll do good. Okay, so then this just requires nitrogen gas. How am I going to get nitrogen gas? Nitrogen gas. So compressed air. Is that the only way I can get nitrogen gas? That was the wrong one. Okay, so I need one of those. Um, so this is a crafting speed of two. Mm, yeah, I'll make I'll make a mark two chemical plants. I don't have any. Can I? Is that the only thing I can use? Is chemical plants? Yeah. So then we'll make a chemical plant. Let's see. What else is nitrogen used in? Making sodium carbonate. What does sodium carbonate mean for? Oh, glass mixture. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Go again? Sodium carbonate, which with it and chrome pellets makes me chromate. Uh, sodium element, sodium hydroxide solution. So yeah, nitrogen gas is used for a few things. Uh huh. Yeah, definitely something that needs to be added to the bus. Yep, 100%. And sadly, I'm going to need to add it up here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I have no landfill either, really. And not enough. Alright, let's just go ahead and get a setup going. Alright, 
So let's say that's it. Now this puts out those. say that puts out that. Alright, that's going to create five monosilicon seeds. And this needs how many? One monosilicon seed every six seconds. And this is going to produce this every four seconds. Okay, this, this is going to be a struggle here on the ratios. Alright, where's that? Where's it at? Okay, so if we're doing a cracking speed of 1, alright, that's going to produce 5 every 4 seconds. Alright, and if I did this with a crafting speed of 2... That'll be every three seconds. So this would need one every three, and this would produce five every four. Five every four, one every three. So it'd still be fine, even if I did this. I think I'll just make them both mark two, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so this will be that. This will be that. Not connecting it yet. Alright. Now, this, this is going to be a little bit different. This has to be a little bit different. And I'll show you why. No. It definitely will have to be like that. But, the power line has to go right here, because I need this to be able to extend out. So, there's that, there's that. Now this is going to produce four monosilicons. Now the four monosilicons are going to go into an assembling machine. This monosilicon used for anything else. No. Alright, monosilicon seed is used for monosilicon. Or making a better version of it. Okay. Well, that's fine for right now. So if we did that, now this is going to need to output monosilicon. So now let's say we output this there. Hmm. How about we do it like that? That looks a little better. Okay, so silicon wafers, that's going to produce six if it's a crafting speed of one every one second. Hmm. I 
think what I'll do... I don't have any more of those. Let's see how big those are. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is... See about how many I can make. This just needs one. couldn't even put two there. could do it like this, and then that'll let me add two more, but, okay, so that produces, let's say that produces six, sil six silicon wafers, so the max that I end up doing is 24, producing 24 at one given time. Um, for transistors... That needs two, so that means I can make 12. I do that 12 times, which gives me 60 transistors at most, which means I'm going to consume four of the 60, but I'm pretty sure transistors are used in other recipes. So for me to be able to expand them, yeah, there's a lot of recipes for it. And this is the only way. So. <sighs> Damn. I don't know. I'm going to take a break right here. I'm going to think about how I'm going to do this. And I will catch you in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.